Hi, today we're going to be working on this assignment for DS-106, the alternative history image. So we're going to be taking an uh, image and placing in it a historical figure that's going to represent this change in history. And since we're working with the theme that the internal combustion engine had never been invented before, we want to think about you know something that has to do with cars and the car scene. So who better to do for that than our most uh, you know prevalent you know, historical figure when it comes to cars, and then me, Mr. Henry Ford. So, since we're working with this whole idea of steam and, you know, electricity, you know, being our power sources for vehicles instead of the internal combustion engine, and we've got this interesting little, little, little buggy right here, I'm going to focus on that, and that's going to be what we're going to call, you know, the, the, our, you know, Henry Ford's first, you know, electric running car. And so we've got this, you know, photo here that we're going to be using for the electric gas pump. That's going to work out really well. And also, we've got this picture of parking spaces. And so that's going to be kind of our background for this. So our picture is going to look really nice. So, let's get started. I've already downloaded all these, as you can see there. You know, they've all free for commercial use, no attribution required. I've got a Pixabay account, and that's how I can get to them. So, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go over to Photoshop. So, and of course we have our scratch disk is going to be my external hard drive, keeping the wear down on my you know, actual computer. So let's go ahead and create a new image. So let's make, let's go ahead and go to open. And we're going to start with this parking lot. And I'll probably go ahead and make that layer invisible for a while, but we're going to go ahead and start with it first. Open that. That's going to kind of set our size for everything. There's my mouse. It's very hard to see the mouse on here. That's okay though. Turn my screen brightness up. It doesn't affect you, but it affects me highly. Alright, so we've got this. So we've got our background image. So I'm going to go ahead and set that as not being visible, which it doesn't want to let me do. And set that as being invisible. So now we want to do file, let's see, where is it? I just looked this up. It's going to take me a moment. New layer. I'm sorry, I just looked this up. So, I do. That's the wrong one. All right, back to our Google search. Because Google searches are wonderful things. So, do 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 drag and drop new image. Okay, knew there was something simple for it. All right, so we're going to close my email because you don't want to see that again. All right, so we're going to go to where I've got all my files downloaded. Do summary. So I want to start by working with Henry Ford. So we're going to go ahead and drag him over here into our new image. Now we've got a Henry Ford layer that we can work with. So So first things first, we want to go ahead and just get Henry Ford out of this picture. So to do that, I think probably the best way that I want to do that, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Zoom in. I'm going to go to the quick selection tool. Click that. I want to change our size of everything. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. How's that look? It's pretty good. Uh, the quick selection tool is actually pretty neat. I want to lower hardness for the moment. So let's go ahead and close that up. Right now we can see we're working on Henry Ford. So let's go ahead and work on selecting his body.
Evidently the uh, selection tool is going to have a hard time doing this because it thinks that a lot of stuff is Mr. Ford that really is not. Hmm. Well, let's down zero, see how that uh, gets us. Try this again. My uh, keyboard, it appears, was uh, deciding it wanted to be in uh, caps lock, which was messing with uh, our selections. Now we've got most of Mr. Ford's body. All right, so now we've got the top of Mr. Ford. Let's go ahead and do the bottom of him. It's a little tricky since the um, picture itself has a lot of uh, a lot of lines in it. So we're gonna go around the carriage, picking up the wheels pretty well. Forward into his carriage. This can be a little tough. It's a lot of lot of tedious work when it comes to getting the uh, Photoshop on just what you want it on. Oh, part of the inspiration for this was also because I was at Sheets. It was making me feel about cars and gas pumps. There we go. Now I've got that brake handle like I want it. I'm actually going to go ahead and shrink the size of our tool down just a little bit so I can get right up in there. There we go. That's beautiful. Bump it back up a little bit pixels again. All right, now let's get back to selecting some stuff. Top of the carriage goes down. Now we just need to get that back wheel. So 
So we can see we've got this back wheel here is over. Got this wheel, back wheel, is seat. Got that. Oops. Oops. No. We don't want all that. So let's just get an antenna. go down to a smaller brush. Seven pixel brush. There we go. There we go. That looks pretty good. We've got Mr. Ford. We've got the entire carriage. No, I think we're doing pretty well now. So now we've got that. We're going to go down to add layer mask. Now we've got Mr. Ford. And actually, what we could do is see, got a little bit of a haze there. But, so I'm going to try and undo that. At least I don't know where that haze is coming from. It might be just be my screen that I'm seeing that in. So disregard that. Cleaned my screen earlier. I think there's a bit of a haze on it. So, so we will go ahead and add our layer mask. So now we've got Mr. Ford and his carriage. So we're going to save this. It's always good to save our work. Save at. Um, we're going to save this as alternate history. Yes, Okay, so we've already done that. So let's back out a little bit and see everything is going good. All right, so now let's go ahead and get in our parking lot. So, uh, no, we already did the parking lot. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and get in our charger. So the charger here. Let's see. The charger is really quite big. So we're going to go ahead and shrink it down for now. Let's make it a reasonable size. I think we want to use this charger out of it. So we'll go ahead and figure on that one being about a little, a little shorter than Mr. Ford. So I think this is a good size. So I'll click OK. Now on the touch bar, so you didn't see me click anything. So now we're going to do about the same thing for this picture. So we're on the charger layer. Adjustments. Exposure, brightness, levels, brightness. Exposure, do, do, do. Photo filter. Photo filter. Black and white. So now we've got black and white. I think that looks, looks, that looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and change the um, let's toy with our red level. Why don't we change our red level? Yellows. There we go. That's looking more like it. Go ahead and get that kind of dark and bright look to it. That looks much better. Don't you think? I think it looks better. All right, so now we've got that set up. Let's go ahead and build our mask on this again. So we're going to do much the same thing. Currently, we are working in this layer. So now we're going to do our quick selection tool.
this a little bit of a pain at the moment. Change my brush size. It's giving me a little bit of hassle. There we go. Let's start with the 50. Got that. I feel like my Photoshop is giving me some issues. That's okay. We'll live with it. We're going to go ahead and shrink our brush size a bit so I can get up in there a little easier. Right on that charging cord. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Make sure we get exactly what we want here. Somehow I managed to select a lot of stuff I did not mean to select. We'll take care of that in a moment. There we go. That looks a little bit better there. Let's go ahead and get on this side of it. Charging cord. And there we go. So our charging cord is nice and selected. Now we need to get rid of this bubble of uh, selection that we didn't want here. I don't know when that popped up, but it did, so we'll get rid of it. There we go. Lost part of our recharge station, so let's go ahead and get that back. There we go. Let's zoom out a little bit. So we've got a charge station and our hose, cord, however you want to call it. All right, so now, again, let's go ahead and create a mask. A vector mask. Hmm. There we go. Trying to clean up these fuzzy spots that we keep uh, seeing here. All right. Go 
Oh, and uh, Command D is for disconnecting everything. All right, so now we've got Harrison Ford. I mean, not Harrison Ford. This isn't Star Wars. We've got Henry Ford and our gas pump. Move around. So I think we're going to take and uh, move Mr. Ford over here. I'm going to move our gas pump. Being down here on this level, the hose going into the buggy at some point. We're going to go ahead and pick right here because it kind of disappears into the black there. So it'll be much easier for us to say where we're going with this. Let me move everything together. All right, next step. Let's go ahead and turn, let's go to our background, our background layer. Go ahead and adjust the background. Make it black and white as well. <clears throat> Make it visible. And we'll do the same thing with it. Turn down the reds on the background. And you see that makes a lot of difference there. We'll turn down our reds. I'll turn down our yellows. So there's still some colors in there I kind of want to stir up. Turn the greens up a bit. I don't like this photo filter layer. Actually, I don't like that one either. So we're going to go back to this layer and turn our greens. greens. Which way do we want to turn our greens? Yeah, actually, we're going to leave them in the middle. With blues, though. Blues really don't provide us with anything super interesting. They do deepen that shadow there, though. Let's see. Edge. Anything? Any other effects we want to do on here? I don't think there are really any other effects I super want to um, want to do to it. Side transform. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think I like that one. It's actually uh, if I do a quick branch off on this tutorial here, just because I don't remember this main menu, image adjustments, shadows, highlights. Okay, cool. So. Image. Adjustments. Adjustments. Shadows. Highlights. Shadows. That turns them up. Yeah, turn that down. I got to toy with the highlights a little bit here. I'll put those all the way up. I think that gives us a pretty good look. Looks kind of nice and old. So now next thing, let's go ahead and put... Select these two together. Forward and charger. And then move those down. They're sitting, sitting in the compact parking space. Put our charger in the middle. Well, actually, we could go ahead and put it up there, except that doesn't look right at all. So we're going to put our chargers here towards the front of the vehicle, which is uh, not parked very well, but that's okay. Put 
that there. All right. So now we have Henry Ford. He's standing here with his first electric car with the first charging station, number one, in the, the Henry Ford parking lot here, the Ford factory. Now, uh, let's just uh, go over what we used here. So this time in Photoshop, we used the quick selection tool. We used multiple layers. We went and used adjustments on the photo. We also did the image adjustments. You can't see it because I don't have a the correct layer highlight at the moment. We used image adjustments, and then we adjusted the shadows and highlights. This was all done using Photoshop. Didn't use anything else special. We used the photos from Pixabay. 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 Really cool. Really cool website. Tons of free images to use. Uh, be careful you don't click on the advertised images. Those are from Shutterstock and those you have to go through Shutterstock for, but with your free account on Pixabay, you can use whatever images you want, so that's great. So anyway, I feel like we've uh, taken care of this assignment. Uh, we have a historic figure in a different environment. History was changed. So got Harrison Ford charging up his first electric car back in the, back in the, back in the day. No gas. I believe this is actually supposed to be a horse carriage. I think. I have no idea. But that's kind of what it looks like to me. It looks like there is a hookup mechanism right here, if I can see that correctly. But either way, looks good to me. And I think we're done. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll have a post on this up soon. So, till the next time.